Welcome back to Micro Maintenance, the home of wing nuts, and this is season two, episode one. This season we've decided to change things around, so no more for the hangar walk-arounds. We have been asked if we'll do them again, maybe. But this season we're going to focus on aircraft specific. We thought it would be great that you'd be able to see an aircraft from the moment it rolls into our workshop to the moment it rolls out. And it's been fantastic for us to see the kind of work that we're doing, uh, spread over a number of weeks or a number of days. So we really hope you enjoy season two. Please feel free to let us know in the comments below what you think of our new format. Anyway, this episode is all about a Sky Ranger Ninja. This is an aircraft we've been looking after mechanically for some time. Myself and Donny, we had a quick discussion. We were looking at all the varying component parts that needed to be done. We knew we were going to do an engine service on this aircraft, going to make sure that everything that needed to be changed out was. <laughs> Donny, what are we up to today, my friend? Well, we've done 100 hour service on this, including a air filter clean and re-oil. It's got canines on it. I've just uh, adjusted uh, the throttle assembly. There was some spring back at full return. And now, as you can see, it's working perfectly. And I'm just gonna detail the engine. Um, like I say, it's had 100 hours of full oil and filter. I've done all the, the some lock wiring that needed redoing. I've done that and uh, I'm just going to detail the engine and then run it up. Fantastic! Clear prop! So the, the, the other thing that it's worth just making a mental note of with, with, with carbs is the, state, is the state of the end of the um, of the end of the cables because if, it's, uh, if at any point you do find that you need to disconnect the cables How was it, mate? Oh, one minute. What? How was it? Yeah, okay. Resetting the uh, yeah. idle. We balanced it on the cables yesterday. Mm -hmm. But um, the idle, had to reset the idle stops in there. So they were loose when I got in then. So I just wanted to um, turn them around until we got the idle part that I wanted. Hello, oh, mate. What are we up to? <laughs> Have a look at this. Oh dear. I feel like I need to go have another shower. <laughs> Halfway? Yeah. So one of the things we're going to do to this aircraft whilst it's here is sort all of that out. I mean, no one wants to see that. I, I genuinely find this upsetting that that we can leave. I mean, it's it's mildew. It, you know, it's certainly on GRPs it, it will come off um, these bags come up really well sticking them in the washing machine you know it's clean your planes <laughs> as you've seen we're doing some engine work on this aircraft what we're trying to do is get it to a saleable condition I mean it's saleable now but obviously the owner wants um, the right money for it and it's basically, this plane's just sat in the hangar for a while. It's not really been flown as much as it should. And typical syndicate aircraft where it's probably not looked after cosmetically as well as in cleaning the plane. Um, and so if you look at the screen here, you can just see all of these surface scratches where the engine cowl's just been dragged over the screen. Um, and Lexan's not particularly great for getting something in there like a polish wheel to try and get these out it just it's not good so for how much it will actually cost to change the screen we're just going to rip it out put a new one in mm. and then whoever buys it will have a brand new screen oh you've got it splitting on the shoulder as well yeah 
very common. Thank you very much. I've noticed we've completely go to this plane. <laughs> well, if you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it right. Uh, what's that all in aid of, buddy? Well, like I keep saying, this aircraft is hopefully gonna go to a new owner. And there's nothing worse when you buy a plane of discovering somebody else's uh, cover-ups. So we wanna make sure this aircraft's straight, and in order to do that, you, the only way you can do it is by inspecting it properly. So we take out as much as we can possibly get. So the floors come out, the Foams come out, the dashes, the covers come out, the seats have come out. And of course, the moment we do this, you can see just on how much of a mess it is. I mean, this literally is going to keep me uh, awake at night, unless I do something about it. So, next thing we do, we're going to do, now that we can see what's going on, is we're going to go through and, first of all, clean the thing so we can see. We're going to address any starts of pitting or corrosion that we might see, get some ACF 50. Just really give it a good clean, you know, anything, any nut heads that are rusted out and just sort it out. One promising thing, which uh, if you look at the back of this, again, most people wire these when the when the windscreen isn't, isn't in place. It's a lot easier to get to, but then of course the windscreen goes in and then you're working at it this way through a tinted screen and you can't get it. So, but. It's really nice to see that the um, whoever did the initial wiring on this, I think I know who it is, um, has done a fantastic job. You know, everything's run the way you want it to run. All, all, everything's terminated correctly. You know, it's the right gauge wires and cables. So yeah, super, super impressed that they've actually, there's an, a really nice wiring job on that. It's very impro promising going forward. So we're just gonna check, make sure that there's no loose connections make sure that nothing's been added to it. Um, the only thing that, 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 that I've found so far is that the cabin heater is a little bit on the stiff side. So I'm gonna try and reroute that cable so that there's less bends in it and it's a bit more usable. No, see how it goes. Hey dude, so what we found? Come look at this. I say I found it, I didn't find it. Mr. Alan Jackson, our head of, of inspectors, uh, did. You've been stealing credit again. I haven't stole any credit. You asked me what for the founder and I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So if you see here, this is the rubber mounts for the nose leg. And as part of its service schedule, you take this bolt out, drop it down and grease the hinge at the bottom. So when this has gone back together again, we forgot to put the brass washer on top. And so, it's not brass, it's steel. Steel, sorry, steel. It's brass coloured. So we're gonna take it apart, put it back right again. So I think we know who really found the problem, don't we, Alan, to be honest? <laughs> my defense, I was busy. <laughs> I ate stickers. <laughs> How is it progressing with the Sky Ranger Ninja? <laughs> oh, Alright, um, as you can see this? we've got in there, we're now doing as much of the cosmetic stuff as we can, so things like the stickers are peeling off the dash. I hate that, you know, they've, you can get some great sticker kits from Flylight. I don't even know if they charge, but I mean, for whatever they charge, they're worth it. You know, it's a permit requirement. Just change some stickers. It's easy, easy to do. Things like fuel pipes, you know, I mean, obviously we don't want any of those to be cracked. So it's like, well, let's swap these out now. You know, whilst we're in here, we got straight back to bare bones in the cockpit. We're getting some ideas of what we want to do. We're thinking of doing a wrap, maybe. Um, on the dash, we're going to put a new carpet set in here, we're going to treat and, uh, the seats and get those back. You can see the inside of the fuselage. Come have a look inside the fuselage. So inside the fuselage is a lot better as far as I can get, so we're going to attack it from the other end tomorrow. 
so we get the inspection hatches in so we can clean the inside of there I'm going to change the bungee trim bungee over there because I don't believe that that's as accurate as as it should be um, the one thing we know with this aircraft is it actually flew very very well um, but yeah we're going to rattle through do a sea service on it treat any elements of corrosion that are just starting to form and really like I say just little things like the gator where it's just been rubbing on the stick and left that a horrible black mark on there you know let's let's get it gone the handles the handles i think they're about 10 quid or not not even that for a pair um just swapping those out you know they're just little little things i'm gonna put new like I say new stickers on there and yeah the, the plane itself's good so i'm quite excited screen's been cut so that hopefully can go in tomorrow and then uh full valley Check flight. Job done. These little things, these things irritate me. Just change it. <laughs> Just change it. <laughs> so mate, how's it all going? Yeah, it's good. We're on put back, which is always nice. Um, so we give it a bit of a, uh, a carpet set, checked all the wiring, made sure everything's all connected. So really, uh, there's just so much you can do when the screens are so much easier rather than banging your head and squeezing your head in a small hole which is always good fun um, so we're just getting it all back making sure it's all nice and neat everything's how it should be uh, certainly happy with the with the front end we're just gonna uh, pretty fight make it look nice Now, mate. Well, um, the hard bit of replacing a screen is you've got to go to what it was previously. <laughs> it's nice that you've got a template because you can take the old one off, assuming the old one was fitted correctly in the first place. Fortunately, this one was done very, very well, so we got a nice template to go off, and we've just fixed in the datum. So we've got a clico in the center. And we've got the two datums um, at the rear. So now what we're going to do is work away from the inside out, uh, drilling and clicking in and make sure it all lines up. Once we're happy with the fit, we've got no gaps that we um, um, that we need to address. We can then start looking at making some permanent fixings. Supreme Leader. So, <laughs> what's for the uninitiated? Just me. <laughs> you mean it's, you? Yeah. All right. Okay. Don't out me in public, mate. No, I like. This is why we said this. I like you, Ben, because you ask the right questions. Mm. More than they don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Clico, mate? Well, Clicos are these. And if you are doing any form of fabrication or changing windscreens, particularly if you are building a Sky Ranger of any format, these will become your best friend. Uh, and you can see what we've got a row in these looks like a porcupine and what you do it's a great way of getting a temporary fixing say you are trying to make a screen fit and you just want to make sure it's right so you drill the hole and you can use the clico tool and what that does is as that compresses it makes this thinner so it goes through the hole that you've drilled so you've got one material that you drilled and the other material behind it then as you release the pressure it expands fill in the gap and we'll hold the two materials together so like we've done here we've drilled through uh, the scuttle through to the windscreen 
popped in a Clico and it's holding the windscreen in place so you can then work your way out and you don't get any bags uh, you haven't got to rivet each one and if you make a mistake or need to alter you know it's relatively easy done like I say these just pop in and then release and then I can put a permanent fixing in there now makes life a lot easier Clicos, not the cheapest thing you'll ever buy but worth their weight in gold yeah Oh, I still want to deeply satisfying moments, everyone. Before we get to see it peeled. Let's take a quick look. Oh, there. Look at that. <laughs> For the cracking job, mate. Well done. And that's it, that's the end of episode one. This was our Sky Ranger Ninja. We hope you've enjoyed our new format. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave us a comment in the section below. And if you would like to see future specials, which we're trying to get out, then click on the notifications and you will receive information about Micromaintenance, the home of wingnuts. Until next week, guys, see you soon.